All right, let's talk about Pusher. Uh, this is a tune from my Over Your Head record. It's one of my most favorite tunes to play on the gig, and it's also one of the most requested tunes normally at the gigs. It always goes over really well. It's just a fun song to play. It's a syncopated groove in G, kind of a G dominant seven sound, and it's my favorite type of groove to improvise over because there's so much breathing room. You know, the bass kind of has a lot of holes in it. The drums are very syncopated. There's, so there's all these little lanes and avenues for me to kind of snake in and out of. And I love those types of grooves because I can easily cross bar lines and make interesting things happen. Um, so technically, it's just a blues in G, a 1-4-5, but it's just incredibly fun to blow over. There's also a long section where Travis drops out on bass and I play just along with the drums. And that's always fun for me, too, because I can kind of go anywhere and do anything. Sometimes I'll, I'll quote some standards or I'll pull something out of my hat there. Just, you know, have a good time, completely improv. Um, so it's, it's a really fun song. So let's go through some of the sections and talk about kind of what I'm doing in the tune. All right, so the intro starts just drums, and it kind of builds in. But normally he'll state the groove for a while, and we'll let the drums kind of have their moment, and then Travis and I'll slide in and play what is the repeating motif of the song, which is this. So that's kind of a straight blues lick between the one and the flat seven, but I'm playing the open G with it. So it's just a dominant seven sound, and then I play this, which is just a little double stop between the flat three, and the six. So that over G. Just a great sound. Just an also a dominant seven sound. Love it. <laughs> so that's the main theme of the song. So in the intro, it plays two bars of that and then goes to the flat seven for the, for the only time. So it goes G, then F to the four, C, and then, and then it starts a blues progression. It's the only time it does that. I just wanted the intro to have a little bit of a different feel. So this is what it sounds like when I come in. So again, that was me going down to F and then to C7 and then resolving to the G. And then it goes into a blues and we're into the verse feel. So this is the regular verse feel. So to the four, straight blues. Five to the four, and we do this little this little walk up to the C seven. Resolve to the five, and then we're back in. So now in the second verse, I play these little walk downs. I turn on the Leslie, and I play this little walk down that goes from one to flat seven. So it's basically G, F, C over E, but it's like a C. And then it does it on the four. So here comes the four. We do the same walk down. And then I state the C again. So that's that's the, the second verse. It plays G. F, C over E, and then G. And then when we get to the fourth chord, it plays C, B flat, and then F over A, and then to G. And then regular five, and that same turn. And 
Then we get into the chorus that just hangs on the one. You're a pusher, baby. And it's kind of open there. And that's it. Then we're into the solos and kind of off to the races. That's the whole tune, um, at least form-wise. Uh, so let's talk about what I get into in the soloing. So let's talk about what's happening in the soloing here on Pusher. Uh, it's a blues again in G, so I'm open to kind of do what I want. So I try to improv this every night. Um, but there's little moments where I'll do certain motifs that will cue things with the band. I like to work that way because it gives me complete freedom, but also keeps a show like a show where there can be little things that we all do together. Um, so I'll probably start relatively simple and work my way around that syncopated groove, that da 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 and I'll build up. Some kind of stuff like that. Um, and I'll, I'll just kind of keep raising the intensity and bringing in some new ideas. Maybe in the second chorus, I'll bend a lot more strings. Stuff like that. I mean, that was a completely improvised chorus of the tune, but I'll just keep kind of raising the intensity. That first solo, though, I play it relatively close to the vest um, because then Travis takes over and does an amazing bass solo. And then we come back to the part where it's just me and Lamar. And then I'm free to kind of do what I want over that. All right, so then we're in the free section, the duo section, me and Lamar or me and Gary, whoever's playing drums, me and Alan, me and, me and whoever. And I love this section because I can go anywhere. And the drummer's always listening. Lamar's really listening intently most of the time. And we make a lot of cool things happen, but it's completely open. Um, but they, even that being said, I'll have little moments that are the same. So... <laughs> You may hear me go down and modulate to F because I can do whatever I want. And go back and forth. Um, yeah, maybe I'll quote a standard. I may play St. Thomas or... Well, you needn't, or some, you know, some other song in the middle of there. Um, but basically, I'm gonna gonna just have fun and try to, you know, follow where I'm hearing and what I'm thinking. And then I'll get to the part where we're gonna build it back up and lead Travis back in. And that becomes this little part, this repeating motif, something like that. Uh, it'll either be that or. Then we go. So that's just a G7. And then we play this as the final build. come back in on the four on C and uh, I think that makes it more powerful Travis comes in finally after this long moment with no bass 
and we come in on the four in the middle of a bruise, a blues progression, and I build it up to crescendo, basically. Um, and when we finish that solo, it's like I'm kind of spent, actually. And it comes right back to that second verse feel with the little stops, with a G, F, C over E. And then the same thing. Yeah. Yeah, that's kind of the tune. It plays another chorus where it does those hang on the ones, and then a big drum solo where Travis and I go. <laughs> Basically something like that. It's just a fun song. Um, if you're not a member, join or subscribe. I'd really appreciate the support. And uh, thank you guys, Ruling. And please check out Pusher. It's on the Over Your Head record. And there's a live version, of course, on the Live at the Spud album, DVD, Blu-ray, video, concert, whatever. Thank you, everybody, very much. All right, Ruling.